Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our acceleration fuel enrichment and our deceleration fuel cut. So our acceleration fuel enrichment is going to be how we can add additional fuel when we have rapid throttle changes. So when we're doing our normal driving and we're operating in our main fuel table, at any given load and engine RPM, we're gonna have a certain amount of air mass or airflow that's gonna be entering our engine. And that's gonna be what the main fuel table is gonna be able to characterize, more of a steady state operation of our engine at that given load point or the RPM point. Now, when we have rapid throttle changes, so we're operating at that point and all of a sudden we snap our throttle open all the way, we're gonna have a burst of air mass is gonna enter in our engine until it stabilizes out and gets into the next cell point where that load's gonna be able to track and the RPM point's gonna be able to track a little bit better. And then we're gonna have some fuel that's gonna be added to account for that air mass. Now on that point where we have the transient or the condition where we're going between the cell points, we have to fill in the blanks. And that's gonna be what the acceleration enrichment is gonna allow us to do. Depending on how much we're gonna be opening our throttle or the delta throttle or the change in throttle, we're gonna be adding additional fuel to be able to compensate for that. And we're gonna be taking a look at how this works in our AEM Pro software. Now in addition to this, we're also gonna take a look at our deceleration fuel cut. That's gonna be when we lift throttle, we wanna shut off our fuel injectors. Now we don't need to keep pulsing fuel into the engine because the engine can use momentum to keep itself going. It won't just shut off. So we're going to be shutting off the injectors when it's coasting down to a stop and then turning them back on right before we get to the point where it could create stalling conditions. I'm going to be showing you how to program that and how to work with that. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check both of these features out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at our acceleration enrichment and our deceleration fuel cut. Now the very first thing we're going to do is put a page here that's going to be dedicated to this acceleration enrichment, so it's very easy to work with and find. So jump into templates, go into configure, move down our list here to add. We're going to go and move all the way to the bottom here in our templates list. We're going to select throttle excel pump and click open. Now we can find we have this little triangular icon here. I'm going to change this to a fuel injector and grab our choice right there. Now it's changed and then use the move up feature, move it up our list here. Let's go all the way to the top. We're going to be inserting this right after the other fuel injector here. So keep using this move up here. And now we find it's going to be right there. So click OK. And now it's populated to our icon list. So if we click on this, we can see throttle Excel pump is going to be what this is labeled as. If I click on the page, now we're going to be in our acceleration enrichment that's going to allow us to characterize the movement of our throttle and add additional fuel. So we see we have four tables. We also have some other programming details here as well as a list of parameters that are going to be all related to understanding and seeing how this is going to work. Now one thing I'm going to do here is go to 